almost full. It's only rained for five minutes. Ooh, and feels good. 95 degrees out here. All right, we'll take that. We're gonna drop an angle, run it down, and then it's gonna go into this rain barrel. And that's where we're gonna collect water when the landscaping's done out here in this sort of hangout area that's gonna be fenced off. That's how we're gonna water our landscaping and our plants and stuff. All right, so we're gonna get an enormous amount of water coming out of here. As you can see already, just in the rainstorm we had last night, to fill up this rain barrel. So you don't want any fittings in between. You don't want any elbows. You don't want any of that stuff if you're gonna do a rain barrel. You can do it. It might look a little better, but it will leak and it will clog up if there's any leaves pouring. And when you have that amount of water pouring into that barrel, you don't want any kind of blockage in that thing or it'll come up over the top of the gutter and pour out over that lip the whole way down. So what we're gonna do is get a piece cut to fit from there to there. Do not use a circular saw to cut these gutters or they will explode everywhere. degrees out you guys It'll slow you down guzzling water lots of water Nice and 
simple. adjustment to do here. So I'm going to cut a little more off of that and get this screwed down to the lid. Alrighty then. Okay, we've got our downspout there. Got our barrel in place. Got our critter guard cut and shaped to fit. And I'm going to get this pretty close to plumb. Now I'm going to put a couple screws in around the outside there. Let's get these screws in. Careful when you're running them into plastic with this driver, it'll blow through. Take it nice and easy. Okay, critter guard complete. Now we just need a good rain. That should be get that. So that should gather probably 40 to 50 gallons an hour off of this big roof. So uh, we're going to see how that works. And then once the landscaping is done, we're going to have plenty of water to water with. We're not going to have a lot of plants, just little planters. Super easy. It's a great add-on to your porch though. Okay, we're going to learn a little trick today. that without using any fittings because my other one has to be bent and up against the house it can't be sticking out like this one is so uh check this out this is sort of more of a homestead kind of farm thing if you wanted it to look perfectly you wouldn't do it this way One side really good. This so it starts to distort and once right there. Then I'm gonna tuck these two sides in and that in. Let's do this. Farther, just like that. Now we're just gonna hold it until it hardens up. This one's not gonna have a lot of flow because this is the high end. The only time water will ever be wanting to get in this one is gonna be if we have like three or four days straight of rain because I tapered this gutter about an inch and a half lower on this end. So this one doesn't have to be super open in the middle. So we can get away with a little bit of creative downspout technology here. And there you go. So now we have no fittings. The downside, yes, if you have high flow, this might clog a little quicker or it might not flow as easy, but this one doesn't because that end is an inch and a half higher. Uh, the other upside is I just saved $12 and one Two fittings that are six dollars each which you don't need so now I can just put an angle relief on the top there and then basically that just sits right up against the house there's no fittings there's no openings there's no holes nothing to drip or leak no screws to rust and it looks nice and neat see that <laughs> all right let's go put this thing on Clean this up a little. Just to make it look a little nicer. Okay. Just a snip right there. 
Okay, and then we are going to cut it right down the middle, right there. And try to go all the way. It's easier to just flip it over and come from the other way too. Okay, just like that. So these are clips that are going to hold the gutter on. I'm going to cut these corners off. Not only looks a little neater, just less, less to catch on. Pine needles and stuff will just bounce right off. Okay, so now we got two gutter clips. These will screw to the house. The gutter will go in there. And then we'll put a screw here and here. And we got it. Nice and neat those are. They blend right in. The ones they sell are big and gaudy. Alright, that'll work. And then when we get ready to add something on this end, as far as a rain catcher, we'll go ahead and cut that off and adjust the uh, length of it for a smaller barrel. It's going to sit right here. Got a rain catchment barrel there. Nice downspout. Got a nice downspout here. Gonna put a smaller barrel there. We'll always have plenty of water to water the plants with. Alright, see you guys later. It's almost full. It's only rained for five minutes. Ooh. I'm gonna have plenty of water to water with. I still gotta run this one down here. I'm gonna run the pipe. It ended up filling up. <laughs> Made a little lake out of it.